Okay, well, I'm, I'm pleased, actually, that uh, you've asked me to comment. This has been something, a subject uh, that I have uh, certainly thought about uh, for most of my, if not all my adult life, all of it, uh, most of it. Um, I suppose my thoughts of capital punishment really began uh, when I read uh, Isabel de Bourdais' book about Stephen Truscott and how that if Canada, and they did have the death penalty in 1969, but if it had not been abolished, that Stephen Truscott and, and many other of those people that I've come to know because of my work with AIDWIC, the Association of Defense of the Wrongly Convicted, that my friends uh, would be dead. People that I have come to know and convinced of their innocence, and in fact, DNA evidence and other evidence has proven that they are innocent. And at the time that they were convicted, uh, certainly the public was convinced they were guilty. The court was convinced they were guilty. The jurors were convinced they were guilty. So there's absolutely no doubt in my mind they would have been convicted if, in fact, we'd had the death penalty. And I know you've heard this before, but in my personal opinion, the death penalty has no place in civilized society. Uh, we are not barbarians, uh, and so we should not be acting as such. Very disappointed in the government, very disappointed in the Harper government. Uh, I remember being involved in the Joseph Stanley Folder case. This seems to be a reform uh, policy about the death penalty. And I remember during the Joseph Stanley Folder case, a uh, Jasper Alberta man that was executed in the state of Texas, that actually a reform party member flew to Texas to encourage George W. Bush to in fact execute a Canadian citizen. And of course they did execute him. I don't understand uh, why murder is legal because the government's doing it, but if any individual citizen goes and murders somebody, they get a death penalty. Well, what about a government that stands behind the death penalty? Murder is murder no matter who commits it. And uh, I don't think uh, that you can use, uh, you know, victims because there are many victims in society, but we don't go. Uh, because a victim wants revenge, we don't go out and seek revenge. We try to be reasonable, we try to be fair, we try to be just. And so, um, and who is going to be the person who gives the final judgment? Who is going to be the one who says, you know what, this person has run out of options? Who's going to be that person? Who's going to want to pull that switch? Who's, want, who's going to want to inject that needle? Because in my opinion, anybody who does is in fact a murderer. And uh, therefore, are they now going to be put on trial for murder? I mean, it's crazy. It's insane. And it has no place in this country. And, um, you know, I could say a lot more about it, but I think uh, it's sufficient to know that I am totally against the death penalty. I can't understand anybody who would be for it. Uh, because obviously, uh, people who commit murder, there's there's something going on in their life that we have to look deeper. If society were a perfect place and everybody was treated in a perfect and civilized and caring and supportive way, uh, more than likely we would, if not have any murder, we certainly would be very reduced in the number of murders. But until people in society are treated fairly uh, and treated with respect, uh, I think you're going to find people desperate, doing desperate things. Uh, and therefore, uh, we have to react in a very different way than we're, we're reacting. Um, revenge does not work, and it never has, and uh, certainly the death penalty isn't a deterrent to, to murder. Uh, the reasons people commit are much deeper and most uh, society-based, in my opinion. And that's about all I have to say. I'm totally against it.